The noise level increased and the bets were placed to gamble on which of them would pick up the most points over the next 15 minutes. While the session continued, Maud entered and waved. This distracted Julia for a moment, and Juan took advantage. He then used that as an explanation of the results of random distraction when one was working. Julie laughed and agreed. Maud returned a few minutes later without the babies, apparently having deposited them in one of the rooms. She laughed for a few minutes along with the others and even placed a bet on Julie's outcome for the next scenario. As it turned out, she won that bet, which also signaled an end to the session. Julie hugged Maud in appreciation for betting on her as they walked with Juan in tow to see the kids. Maud provided a summary of the morning's baby antics in a cute and funny manner. She opened the door to the room she had used and found only one bundled baby on the floor, Gracie, based on the blanket and no sign of Juan Jr. Julie panicked immediately and asked, Maud, this isn't funny. Where's Juan? Maud replied, Honest Julie, I led them both in here, I promise. Juan picked up Gracie and held her close as he murmured, Little girl, are you okay? Did you see your brother run off? Julie, we will find them. Let's look in the other rooms. They searched the two closest rooms and returned to the starting point. Julie called for the rest of the team to look around as well. Juan walked back into the room and then moved the door to look behind it. His eyes widened as the small blue bundle appeared behind the door. Juan skeptically announced, Julie, apparently Juan can crawl like crazy now. Is behind the door. Julie rushed to the bundle and grabbed it up, holding it close. She asked, Maud, did you place him next to his sister or away? Even as talented as I know these children are, I am reasonably certain that they couldn't scoot that far that fast, if at all at present. The rest of the team crowded into the room to be reassured that all was well with the babies. The concern registered on each of their faces. Apparently, they had all grown attached in a very short period with Brayson leading the concerned conversation on whether either of them was hurt. One reassured all of them that no one was hurt.